I've got all my objects in my program nicely named so I can identify them nice and clearly. Now the first thing I want to do is create myself a new definition. Okay, this definition is going to be a variable and I'm going to call this variable option state. Now, the reason why I've called it option state is I want this variable to control whether or not my option group is actually visible. So I'm going to call this a type of text and I'm going to say here, just nice simple text, I'm going to say not visible. So not visible. So what this basically means is that when the button is clicked, I can check to see if this is visible or not visible. And then I can decide what I want to do to the option group depending on what I've got there. So let's make it make sense. So I'm going to click on the box editor. I'm going to choose on the sh button that show hides options. And I want to say every time I click it, I want to perform some, some things here. So the type of script I'm going to use now is called an if else. So I'm going to just start typing if else, if else. And you can see it shows up there, so I'm just going to hit enter. And it's created this for me now. Now the way this works is simple. We're going to do a test, and then we're going to decide what happens if that test is true. And then we're going to decide what happens if that test is not true. So let's start off by doing the test. So I'm going to do an equals test. So I'm going to just type equals, hit enter. Now it's added a test structure for me. So the first thing I'm going to test is option state. So we can go to my definitions, pick option state's value. Going to click it there. And it's a type of text. I'm going to evaluate it as though it was text. So I'm going to choose text. And what do I want to evaluate? So if it's not visible or if it's visible. So I'm going to start off by saying if it's visible. I'm just going to pop this here. So if option state is visible, it's going to do something. Else it's going to be not visible. So if option state is visible, what do I want it to do? First thing I want to get it to do is to show the option group. So I'm going to go to the option group and I'm going to pick set the option group visibility. Here we go, the option group's visibility. I'm going to set it to true or false. So I'm going to click on logic and pick true. Alternatively, I could have just alternatively I could have just typed in true. Okay, so once I've set that, I need to decide what happens if it's not true. If this test is not true, I'm going to go again to the option group. And go to the visibility. And I'm going to set it pretty much just the same as this, but this time I'm going to set it to false. So if it's true or if it's false. So if it's if this is true, then it's going to do this command. Otherwise, it's going to do this command. But when I set it to true, I've got a problem. It's now only visible. So I need to switch it back to not being visible. So when I say it, I'm talking about the option state. So I'm going to type in option state, click there, option state, I'm going to set it to some text, type in text, I'm going to set it to not visible. Now we have to make sure our spellings are consistent, so we've got to make sure they're both the same, spell exactly the same. and. I'm going to do it again, so option state. I'm going to set it to visible. So let's have a quick look at what's that. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to set this visible to 
some text, and this is going to be visible. Visible. Okay, so it's either visible or not visible. So if it's visible, it's going to pass this test and say, I'm going to set my visible to true, yes, and then set the option state to not visible. So that next time I click on the button, it's going to look at this test and say, right, it can't do that. So it's going to do this instead, which is going to then in turn set the visibility to false and then set the option state to visible. Okay, so this option state is basically changing from two options, two values, which is going to be not visible and visible. So depending on whether it's visible or not, it's going to show or hide our options. So let's just look at our emulator and see if this works. So here it is now, it's going to show. Okay, so when I click on it, it's actually showing and hiding. Okay, but I'm not sure if you noticed something. The very first time I clicked on it, it actually did nothing. Now, the reason why it did nothing is it was initially set to not visible. So, I'll leave that for you to see if you can work out.